dollars from the federal government are pouring now into the Utah Transit Authority. It's UTA's share of funding from the American Rescue Plan passed by Congress and signed by President Biden last March. Fox 13's John Franke explains how the money will help shape public transit in Utah. It's a huge help to us. It has helped stabilize us financially. Nothing was immune to the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's especially true for public transportation, which saw huge drops in ridership as people work from home, trying to reduce their exposure to the virus. And we're uh, still only uh, about two thirds of what our normal um, uh, ridership would be, so our fare box revenue has not returned. As UTA waits for riders to come back, the federal government is stepping in with $167 million to rent layoffs while keeping buses and rail lines moving. The money is being distributed by the Federal Transit Administration. So it's taxpayer funding coming back home to serve the taxpayers. UTA says this isn't just about immediate needs. The federal money is absorbing the impact of COVID losses. That will allow UTA to plan to react to Utah's growth. If we were had not received these funds, we would be thinking more about how do, how do we recover as an organization, and, and it would have delayed our ability to really respond to the future um, by a number of years. UTA leaders are proud they avoided layoffs. As schedules return to pre-pandemic levels, they plan to maintain increased cleaning protocols caused by COVID. And it's all part of the new normal as public transit in Utah rides into the future. This allows us to uh, continue to move forward with the confidence that we had hoped and anticipated. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah. Meantime, a bill on Utah's Capitol Hill that offered free public transit in Utah will not advance this year. Representative Joel Briscoe's bill came with a hefty price tag, about 40 to $50 million a year. It would have made all UTA buses and trains free. The representative tells Fox 13 News he's not going to give up and will bring it back next year. The legislature finds the money for the things it finds important. I think what we need to do is we need to change minds and we need to shift people to talking about opportunity for mobility and for getting around. This is more than clean air. This is helping people get access to jobs. This is economic development. UTA has been offering free fare February and already they say they've seen a 20% increase in weekday ridership and a 34% increase on weekends.